Hey what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be talking about a setting in Vigor that has been changing the way that I play the game. And honestly, I think it's generally improved my performance overall, so let's jump into this conversation about recoil control. Now let me first explain that this is not an exploit in any way. This is simply a built-in setting that is basic for any game with multiple aiming modes. This does have some downsides and it takes some serious skill from the user to perfect it, but I believe this trick can drastically raise the skill ceiling for gunplay and vigor. So what setting am I talking about? Well in the controls, we're looking at the separation of the X and Y axis for sensitivity and in particular the first person Y axis. If you don't understand what I'm leading into yet, by increasing the Y sensitivity, we make the same amount of input on your thumbstick equate to more movement, and because of that you don't have to pull down as hard when you're trying to control recoil on automatic guns. Let me show you the best example of this. So on the Suomi, the gun's recoil pattern is very consistent up and slightly to the right. So in my sensitivity settings for first person, I'll bump the Y sensitivity to be about 15 more than whatever you're comfortable with. Now pulling down and to the left is going to be more impactful during automatic fire. So here's me trying my best to control the recoil at my normal settings, everything at even, and here it is with the sensitivity bumped up. Of course there's a bit of user deviation because my ability to control recoil will always differ slightly and it's hard to show manual recoil on video. I promise you, if you try it you will immediately notice the difference. Now you're probably wondering why I only do this in first person. Like why not also have third person so I can peek around rocks and laser people at long ranges? Well I personally don't have it on my third because it generally is easier to control than first and any minor differences in controllability are pretty negligible because of the blue. Also not to mention the increased off balance of the axes makes target acquisition significantly harder. So more often than not I end up finding and making the fine adjustments to a target in third person where my settings are normal before rapidly switching to first and letting loose on the target. Of course this is a setting, so it will work pretty much the same on all guns in the game, and it just takes some close patterning and muscle memory to get it down to a science. Guns I find benefit the most from this are the aforementioned Suomi, the VZ58P, the PPSH, and the AK-74SU. But really, this works with any gun that you feel has more than manageable recoil in first person. By mastering the use of this setting and combining it with practice and skill with all applicable guns, you can make yourself much more lethal in the Outlands, especially at longer ranges. So I heavily encourage people to try this and hopefully it gives Vigor's first person perspective the love that it deserves. Speaking of, I've been thinking about making a video going really in depth into first person and Vigor, so if you guys think that's a good idea, let me know by liking or commenting on the video. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.